Hello, welcome to a book obsession. I'm Ashley Gunn, and today's book review is going to be on The Admiral's Bride by Susan Brockman. This is book number seven in the Tall, Dark, and Dangerous series that she's written. I have not read the entire series. I came across this book on my Overdrive app. It had no description about what it was, and there's this guy in a Navy's uniform, so I decided to take a chance. And the truth is, I wish there was a description because I feel like there was some issues with my expectations and what this book really was. My expectations after reading the first uh, chapter, which is this incredible scene Susan writes, and it takes place in the Vietnam War. There's basically a dozen soldiers that have been wounded, and there were so many of them that there wasn't enough healthy people to pull them out of this war-torn area. And then you have this guy who at the time is just, I think, a lieutenant. His name is Jack, and he comes up with this idea that might be able to save all of these wounded U.S. soldiers and get them back to the United States. And that's the beginning of this. So uh, I guess I was expecting something action-packed or... But this is very much a romance novel. It's a very much about a relationship. And so expect that. That's all. If you go into this knowing what you're looking for, what you're going to be reading, I think it changes your outlook on the book. Uh, and that's just simply because... So I read that scene about Vietnam, and then you get introduced to this amazing woman, Zoe Lang. She's a doctor um, and this incredible specialist in bioweapons. She's walking into a meeting, going really far underground, through these tunnels, into a lead-lined room where she meets all these military men and comes face-to-face -to, -face to this man that she idolizes, who is Admiral Jack um, Robinson. And he's the guy who saved the people in Vietnam. Zoe's father was one of those people that he rescued. And Jack is asking for her help. Six canisters of a nerve agent have been stolen. And Zoe and Jack are going to have to go under a cover in this cult to try and retrieve um, all of the canisters of nerve gas. So when you read that, you really expect there to be some incredible uh, fight scenes and undercover scenes and... I don't know. That was my expectation. Because again, I had not read the rest of the series and I had no previous knowledge of what this book was about. When it actually begins to unfold, Zoe is working as a waitress, which is where Jack is going to meet her. And let's be very clear about this cult. This cult is very much a men's club. So all of the women are degraded and basically used as servants. And Zoe knows that going in. Jack is going to meet her at the bar where she's waitressing and marry her and that is going to be how he gets her into this compound because the way that it works is they don't bring new women in unless they're married to a man uh, they do bring um, new men in which is how jack got in because he had previous relationships with one of the men in the cult anyways they end up getting in there then you're going to learn the story of them trying to get the canisters and learning what they can obtaining it and coming back this is going to be where my expectations and the storyline of the book split because when they start going undercover and they're talking to each other making sure everyone knows their roles and stuff like that Zoe says a couple of things that kind of made me feel like hitting her first she explains to Jack that her body is just a tool that she uses when undercover and when she's trying to obtain stolen weapons or whatever whatever her goal is and granted in her head it's obvious that that's not who she is and that she doesn't use her body for that but the fact that she felt comfortable saying that kind of made me want to hit her. And then she also basically says, well, you haven't worked with a lot of women. If you don't know that we're used to being sexually harassed and, and assaulted, that's kind of common um, for a woman working in this field. And I don't, ew, that irritated me, honestly. The, the idea that it is acceptable and just said in a common phrase I just, I wasn't okay with that. I understand that it happens. I understand that women can fit into different undercover roles differently than men and stuff like that. I'm not saying that's not the case. Just the fact that when they're speaking, they're not speaking with an audience. They're not speaking with uh, people that she has to play a part for. She's speaking to the Admiral that's in charge of this mission. The Admiral is warning her about some situations in which she might encounter, as well as the fact that because they're going to technically be married, that they're going to have to touch each other and stuff like that. And so I just felt like she could have kept her respect. I don't know. The way that she says it just made me lose all respect for her. This relationship to me was very much a young girl 
who had a hero complex because she was in love with him or wanted to sleep with him or whatever the heck before she even met him. That is, that's having a crush on a guy in a poster for all I know. I mean, she did read a book about him and all of his exploits and everything, but I wouldn't have sex with a guy because I read a book about him. So me and her just had a couple of issues. <laughs> This next little part, it's going to be a teeny bit of a spoiler, shouldn't give too much away, but there's going to be a part in this compound where Zoe tries to pick a lock with a paperclip, which by the way, she does not accomplish picking the lock, but she drops the paperclip. I'm like, okay, so you can master bio weapons and making sure that chemicals don't react and cause explosions, but you cannot handle making sure a paperclip is secured. That irritated. Like, it was just such a ditzy moment. I mean, she tries to pick the lock. Almost gets caught, basically. Someone hits her. I guess the excuse is that because she got hit, she dropped the paperclip. But, no. I would wonder where the paperclip was that I just tried to pick a lock with so that I didn't get in trouble because I'm on a compound and undercover. It was just, that part really irritated me. I felt like it was a very dumb way to get in trouble when you are such a smart person. Overall, I don't know, for me, I just think that if you know what to expect from the book and you read it accordingly, then you're going to enjoy it a lot more. So, bottom line is this is a romance story and it is going to be about this woman who idolizes this man who saved her father's life. And she finally gets to work with this man and her goal is to get closer to this man sleep with him and potentially have a relationship with him. And so while they're undercover, that is going to be what she's pushing for. That is really what this book is closer to. Granted, it will have parts about this undercover mission and everything like that, but, but no, this is a romance story about these two characters, not their capabilities or their intelligence or, in, quite frankly, the mission itself. I was expecting to see incredible and instead I got a romance story and that is where I hope this review helps you guys when you decide to read this book. All right, if you have any questions or comments, go and leave this down below. If you like this review, go ahead and like it. If you want to subscribe, you'll get my videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm going to hopefully be recording Thursday's video right now because I'm coming down with the cold and I'm losing my voice a little bit, a little bit squeaky and pitchy and all that stuff. So I'd like to get that recorded to make sure that you guys have it when you're supposed to. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope I see you guys Thursday. I hope I get that video done and I'm feeling better. But uh, hopefully I'll have some content up there anyways, no matter what. All right, I will talk to you all again soon. Thank you for joining me.